Shalom, all praise be unto you. How Bashem Yah Shai Bashem Rechak Kodash. Shabbat Shalom. Double honors unto the apostles uh, and the bishop elders at Great Millstone who are well. And salutes unto the Arkim who continue to preach the word in truth and in sincerity. And um, this is going to be a quick, um, quick one. And um, you know, um, the title of this one is Chronic Denial, man. Chronic Denial. And this is from live. Um, Live side, all right, and um, basically it's an article, right, and um, this was published four days ago, so it's still uh, relatively, well, it is still fresh news. Uh, coming across it now, and um, it's entitled as you can see here: most UFOs are Chinese surveillance drones, and airborne clutter. Pentagon officials reveal, and to put something like that out, is serious. It's serial. It's chronic. Yeah, it's catastrophic denial, man. Okay, all them words there basically mean mean East was in big denial, man, big time. Okay, and it's quite prophetic, um, of a conclusion, um, for all of the um, aerodynamic, uh, phenomenons, as they would say, which they've been recording from, from, like years back, you know. Um, but you know, as time draws closer to the end, it's becoming more apparent. And um, you know, Esau did a good job as he does with a lot of things, hiding things. But he's getting to the point where now he can't hide it anymore. So he has to put these um, quote unquote phenomenons down to something, and the something he puts it down to is Chinese surveillance drones. Like, that's ridiculous, man. It's pathetic. It says the U.S. government has officially started to explain some of the most infamous UFO encounters of the last decade with China and weather balloons <laughs> as top offenders. All right. Um, you know, you ain't got to get too into the science or the physics or whatever, but um, there's a certain height. Yeah, basically, the higher you go, um, uh, the lower the air pressure becomes, the less oxygen there is. Yeah. Um, essentially, um, balloons... Yeah, they can go high. Like, we've all seen it happen at some point in our life where there's probably, like, a baby shower down the road or someone's memorial for some dead family member and they get balloons and then one of the balloons go loose and it goes high up in the sky. Yeah, that's high. I can give you that, but not the height of chariots. Like, <laughs> like it would have burst by then. Yeah, because physics doesn't permit, yeah, a balloon to go that high. You know, okay. So what you're seeing up there ain't balloons, man. And if it were balloons, why are they shiny? Because the texture of balloons, um, that rubbery plastic, you wouldn't see it shining from that high up. Even if it could get that high, it can't. But let's just say it could, it, it wouldn't be shining, you know. And uh, balloons move according to the wind in a um, gradual form usually more diagonal, yeah, chariots can move um, outside of Esau's understanding of aerodynamics, you know, they can flow smoothly or they can move all over the place, balloons can't do that, like, if you try to do that with a balloon on the ground, it will pop, let alone all the way up that high in the air, it's ridiculous, man, but it shows you that Esau is clutching at straws, man, okay, that he's put UFO encounters and, um, yeah, down to balloons and Chinese drones, like, it's crazy, man, crazy, everything the Chinese, like, China's just a target, like, every, every, everything that goes wrong starts with China, every, 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 um, every attack is China, it's crazy, everything they have is made in China, <laughs> boy, um, you know, when you see more bites out and, out and about, they, like, they kind of look irrelevant, but, that nation, yeah, they play a prominent role, man, in the scriptures. Moab, Moab. Um, intelligence agencies in the US have spent the last few years analysing footage of hundreds of recent UFO encounters, and they want the American people to know this. It's not aliens. Well, according to the word alien, um, an outside force or outsider, yes, it is the aliens. Ain't little green men from Mars, though. It's your whole shy. 
and um, what will be a Hawashai on his return. But the ones they've been seeing is the angels, the Malakim. Okay, according to several U.S. Department of Defense DOD um, officials who spoke anonymously to the New York Times last week, many recent sightings of UFOs or unidentified aerial phenomena (UAPs), as the government prefers to call them, um, are likely to ob- just observations of foreign surveillance operations or airborne clutter, such as weather balloons. I don't even want to read any more of this because it's insulting, man. But, like, it just shows you how low Esau, like, they had that song, How Low Can You Go? But Esau is first place, man. You know, like, boy, this man's just going low, man. You know, now I want to um, pull this scripture here. Be not dismayed. At the signs of heaven, man. Okay. This is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord Jehovah by Hashem, shall I learn it the way the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. This is, Edomites are heathens, man. <laughs> you know. They may be Hebrews, but they're heathens. So, they're dismayed. You know, all the other nations are heathens. And they're also dismayed. But the reason why Esau is the most dismayed is because <laughs> is because it's for him. Yeah. He's in rulership right now. And those chariots are targeted at him. Okay. You know. Prime I mean other peoples as well, but primarily nation wise, it's Esau, man. The Lord said he has a sacrifice in Bosra. Alright, a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. Yeah, them chariots have, have are locked in on E. Okay, so above all nations that are dismayed, Esau's dismayed the most. Believe it, man. Okay, they see it and they get shook, man. They see them chariots and they get scared. Because it's for them. <coughs> it's for their destruction. It's for their downfall. And it's also for the elect's deliverance, which we hope and pray to be a part of, man. Okay. Um, pull this one. So shall the Lord defend it's in Jerusalem, I believe. Um, yep, this is the one I found it. Brock there, I was in the shirt. Isaiah 31 and 5 as birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend uh, Jerusalem. Uh, defending also, also, he will deliver it. Okay, the Lord ain't defending with balloons, yeah, or Chinese so-called surveillance. It's, it's chariots, man. Okay, and passing over, he will preserve it, man. You know, so it's, it's, there's many other scriptures I could go to. I just want to keep this a real quick, you know, sweet, short to the point video, man. You know, but these two scriptures alone show that it's of the Lord, man. You know, okay. Now, if you want to get technical, when balloons go AWOL in the sky, is it the Lord's will? Yeah. But that damn sure ain't his his army, though. You know. <laughs> yeah, the Lord has three compartments to his army. He has the angelic force led by Yahweh Shai. He has the ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles led by Yahweh Shai, essentially. Okay. And he has his elect led by Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai is the captain general of all three compartments of Yahweh's, the Most High's um, army. Okay, Yahweh Shai is over the, 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 the angels, Yahweh Shai is over the missiles, Yahweh Shai is over the elect. Okay, ain't no damn balloons, man. Stop it, Esau, man. You, you are in chronic now. But it's cool, because if I was you, I'd probably say the same thing, man. And he's without a mountain, man. Shalom.